hello ladies and gents welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing great just as i am today on this tutorial is a 360 degree flay and the materials we'll be using are my pattern paper a scissors marker a rope and tape now I'm going to tell you how to get the radius of a plane. You divide your waist measurement by 6.28 and the waist measurement for this tutorial we are going to be using is 30 inches plus 2 inch seam allowance divided by 6.28 is standard and it will give me 4.9 then the length of this peplon, I want it to be 7 inches plus 2 inch hemming allowance which will give me 9 inches. Meaning I'm going to fold my pattern paper by the radius of my flay plus the length of it of my flay which is 4.9 plus 9 but i'll approximate the 4.9 to 5.0 plus 9 inches to give me 14 inches i hope you all understand let me come again my paper will be on food and to determine how many lengths i'm going to use it's the radius of my flay added to the length of the flay the radius of my flay is 5 inches and the length of my flay is 9 inches, making it 14 inches. And now, I'm confirming the length of my pattern paper, which I folded. It's 14 inches. Horizontally and vertically, 14 inches. Remember, this pattern paper is on fold. That's the same way you fold your fabric. I folded the first one and the second one making it four now I'll be taking the radius measurement which is five inches to determine my waist measurement then from this starting point I'll measure down 5 inches I'll mark the 5 inches here and I'll move to this other side and mark the same 5 inches this is to determine the waist measurement of our peplum flame and remember I said the waist measurement is 30 inches plus my 2 inches allowance making it 32 inches and then I want to connect these two lines I'll place my marker this way on this point and extend to the other point the starting point I'll connect it to the other side forming my radius very easy and simple if you've not watched my previous video kindly do so maybe i'll put the link down below the description box if you measure this the circumference of the waist multiply it by four it will give you the exact your waist measurement because this my pattern paper is on food so once I measure this, 
and multiply it by 4, it will give me the exact waist measurement I used. Now from there, I will get the length of my peplon. Sorry, the length of my flay. The length of my flay is 9 inches. That is what I'm using. Remember, it's 7 inches plus 2 inches. Hemming allowance, the one I'll be hemming at the bottom and on top to join to the upper bodies. Now from there, I'll measure my 9 inches. And mark. Or you can still decide to measure from the starting point. That means you add the 9 inches plus the 5 inches that you remove from the upper part, making it 14 inches. So it's either you measure 9 inches from where we took our waist measurements, or you start from the starting point where you take your 14 inches measurement. Now I will connect that point to this other point. I'm trying to make sure that the line will align together. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so. Like and share. You can drop your comments on the comment section below for any future tutorial I've connected the line very simple now it's time to cut This will not take you up to 10 minutes to cut your 360 degree pep flay. Sorry. Very easy and simple. Now cut this other side. This is going to give me a complete circle you can see it I'll open it up now I'll open one side this is because if I, if you want to insert a zipper behind it, you open it up. That was why I put the extra seam allowance. The extra two. You can see my 360 degree flay. Isn't it beautiful? Very nice. Please, if you are here to subscribe to my channel, kindly do so. The red box that is just looking at you. And also hit the notification bell in order to get notified anytime we upload a new video like and share also use the comments box below for any future video you would like us to share i love you all thanks for your support bye